coming up on the program. Artists in Cross River State want art lovers across the world to make Calabar a hub for the artistic tour, just as is done in Lagos and Abuja. Talking about Lagos, we enjoy this exhibition by a group of artists at the My Dream Gallery. We see that and more when Art House returns in a moment. Great to have you join us. I'm Melinda Akilami. Our worst myth for this week is called My Waste by Monday Neojo. She wasn't faking. I felt it firsthand. Her pains as she grabbed my numb hand, which was weary to soothe the pains. Yea, it has come again. Monday, my waist. Hmm, that's not all she has to bear. You know what? Let me allow this poem to simmer in my head before I pour it out so you can taste it and feel every word. On the road, she befriends every minute, just so that eyes will not call her dirt. I have felt it firsthand, and I see how she hides sweet emotion, while I be a watchdog. Sometimes she screams with passion, and asks God why. Is it my fault that I'm a woman? Please take this pain away. In a show of pain, she stands up to pray to God still. Listen, before you call her weak, drip. Before you relegate her to the pot, drip. Before you take her name, drip. I have seen it firsthand. Only the strong can bear it. We will keep celebrating women as our wordsmith keep penning them. So thank you so much, Monday that now let's begin with this show where a group of artists reveal what makes them unique in fortune an art exhibition at the my dream gallery in lagos the fantastic four may sound like something from a superhero comic series but that's how my dream likes to describe these group of artists exhibiting at its gallery in lagos the word for tone is the word for and the tone in the musical, but we are using it as a, a for tone, different styles, different ideas, but that works together. We have four artists, one lady, three guys. We have four artists, four uh, lovely artists who are very sound with draftsmanship. And, um, it's like a visual concert where we have quartets, four quartets. You know, quartets we have um, soprano, chem, um, alto, bass, tenor. So it's just um, comprises of four artists with the same philosophy, but um, different techniques of production. It's representational yet co contemporary. It's co representational yet contemporary because um, representational because you can relate to the shapes. Then, but the application is contemporary. As the title implies, Fortune reveals 42 works of art done by Funke Oladimeji, Olufemi Oyewole, Raji Mohammed, and Salako Olajide, four artists who show individuality on their canvas. I'm a figurative painter. I paint landscape also, and I do some pictorial composition also. So I'm a full artist, and I also promote my culture and the things around me.
peace behind it is a state of emergency. You know, the state of emergency is a concept that, um, that was given birth through the pandemic and you know how it was in the beginning. Everybody were looking for a different way of solving the problem, either to kill the virus, to eliminate the virus, or to use any kind of thing. The artists are no strangers to the gallery. They've been featured in the previous exhibition called Generations, the Future Master Series. Now they're showing that they have grown beyond that stage to a new level. It's a group that we've been working on for the past three years. And it's a lot of people look at it at like, just like the gallery said, it's a uh, breakout from the um, Future Master Series. But it's an exhibition that it's a, something we've been working on before the future masters we've been talking about, we had different conversations and it started from like from a personal group we talk about we four, we call it we four, four four first but and irrespective of we have this bond, we have this kind of educational background, not looking at all of us, looking at our bios, you see that we all have this affiliation with education, not purely finance. So coming together having this and we all have this connection with Universal Studios as well, at irrespective of all having different masters or different people that inspire our works. You could see the play of light um, of lines in his works. Um, simple, um, the basic components leading to uh, um, to more complex components. The lines are the, one of the basic elements for drawings. It shows you that he's, he's a good draftsman. Um, which the Funke's works are um, more of um, landscape, the typical Makoko area scenarios, bringing those areas to life. Um, you could see from our pictorial composition the play of lights, and even she uses palette knife to um, to draw on a surface, to paint on a surface, which is really commendable. I'm still finding it difficult to catch my breath in view of. Um the uh, 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 amount of works and the quality of works we're seeing here today. Um, I want to believe that uh, we have um, a crop of um, contemporary, young contemporary Nigerian artists that are actually energizing the landscape, I mean, in, uh, uh, as far as uh, contemporary art is concerned. The My Dream Gallery is proud to give these artists and others like them a platform not only to display their creativity, but cheer them on as they grow. We have more variety from our social media platforms. The works of art you sent in this week look at different issues. Let's begin with Joe Aze's Hope Against Hope. It's done with acrylic on canvas. The 
then Samuel Oluwatosi is looking at Lagos in the future with this work done using a computer software called Photoshop. Then Miss Adishola is a pen on paper work by Elayo Ashi. The cover-up is an oil on canvas work by Silas Snow White. Then Elijah Godfrey is asking everyone to mind your business with his pen on paper work. Jesu Loba Pencil has distraction a graphite and charcoal pencil on paper work of art. Then this acrylic on canvas piece is called a good friend, which everyone needs, according to Imisi Adebite. Then Promise Olorutobi has this charcoal pencil on paper work titled Scream. Then Victor Wokolo is showing us the Northern Light, a digital illustration. Then Ralph Adelagun has this oil on canvas piece called Shadow. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. Thank you so much for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming. Let's take a moment now. When Art House returns, we head to Calabar, the Cross River State capital, to enjoy an art exhibition. You won't want to miss that one in a moment. Stay with us. Where there is art, there is life. A lot of exhibitions take place in Lagos and Abuja, but other cities are showing that they can hold their own when it comes to art. That's one of the reasons why these two artists begin this touring exhibition from Calabar, the Cross River State capital. The Calabar Sports Club has opened its doors to its first exhibition for the year, the first to focus exclusively on creating awareness on the need for people to come and enjoy art that promotes unity by showing different cultures. Art is a resounding success for so many reasons. One, the artists have been able to exploit the environment as sources of creative materials and media. Secondly, they have been able to forge very effective te techniques which might play the media and the techniques are as various as you can imagine rising from faith good imagination where you find somebody in a painting you have uh, pasted painted cut and pasted and then a sculpture which is usually wood you see linear configurations then you have color coming in creating other dimensions. It's quite enlightening. We have two artists, uh, one from Sri Lanka and one from Nigeria, and they have tried to create work of art that reflects the current situation of the day. The coronavirus, the lockdowns, the vaccines, the development and so on. That has been reflected in almost all their artwork. And I understand that they were able to do this during the lockdown, they had enough time to now develop all these pieces of works, and uh, they are really nice. The art tour titled Creolization 
is a duo project by Sukanthi Egareva and Clem Akbang, both based in Calabar, the Cross River State capital. The artists showcase the paintings, sculptures, fabric, mixed media works and designs produced during the peak of the coronavirus pandemic and the national lockdown that followed suit. Today's exhibition is all about creolization. Two artists from two different continents, even though I'm a Nigerian now, we come together to exhibit. Most of the works, they were produced during the corona time. There, were, there are some old works too, but most of them were produced during the corona period. And we were during the isolation. The exhibition is a way of combining cultures to produce a contemporary act that can cut across boundaries to speak in a language which everyone understands. Sakanthi Egareva is an Afro-ancient artist whose images revolve around women. She aims to redeem the dignity of womanhood through her works. I think my art is about um, Afro Asia. It is Afro Asian. I talk more about my themes revolve around females. I think I am, because I'm a woman, I feel I have to address female issues. But I'm not a feminist. I just talk about I want to redeem the dignity of uh, womanhood through my works. For Clem Akbang, year 2020 was filled with complexities and a need to use art to interpret and document it is the way to go. 2020 was a very funny year because of the coronavirus. We, we, I used the dots to symbolize the, corona, the coronavirus. You know the DNA of the disease is red. So I used this red to symbolize that. This one is titled the year of blue diversity. In the West, when you say you're feeling blue, it means you're feeling down, you're feeling downcast. So with the emergence of the coronavirus, the world started feeling blue. That downcast cast feeling is called blueness. But people felt it in different shades. For some, it was severe. For some, light. Now, with the emergence of the coronavirus, it sent the world into chaos. So this piece represents that complexity of 2020 that people could not explain. So if you see the complex form, it's interesting, it looks interesting, but it's, it has this amalgam of very complex colors to create the whole. So for me, it captures that 2020. For me, those who created the problematic of 2020 is bad governance. And who do we find in government? A lot of display of masculinity, isn't it? But even instead of providing solid understanding of what, how the world should move, they are providing us with ephemerality. So I use the tissue paper to represent the kind of dividends of democracy we get in Africa. It is not solid. Remember that the whole Africa is waiting for the West to look for the solution for people to survive. So that ephemerality of what we have in Africa, I use the tissue paper to represent that. It's not solid. If you pour tissue in water, it goes away. And that is what we get as a government policies in the whole of Africa, except for very exceptional cases. For that reason, I am suggesting a new doctrine of necessity. Having seen the failings of masculinity, I want a new doctrine of necessity where we allow women to take over the world for a bit to see if it will work. Because if we are giving them, if we give them a chance, there's a possibility they might do better off than what we are seeing or we have seen in Africa for the past 50 or 60 years. I want men to take a back seat and let women take the front burner. Let's see what happens. It's fulfilling to see this two-year journey to get the pieces to align with the topic come to reality. Creolization is about bringing elements from different sources and made to play together in a way that communicates and people will hear. So when we say creolization, we are looking at two artists from two different backgrounds. And again, we have one background that is constant, that is a unifying force, that is the internet. Apart from that, they work in the same institution, Crutech. You know, um, one of them is from Sri Lanka, married to a Nigerian. The other one is from Cross River, you know, schooled in the United Kingdom. So, you see, we have influences com coming from these diverse backgrounds and they are bringing it together to say something about our contemporary society in Nigeria. I am really happy that um, such 
a great exhibition is happening in Calabar uh, because um, Calabar is uh, an old city, a city of histories, a city where many things began. And uh, um, fortunately, um, uh, in the past few years, Calabar has not really been represented artistically. So I am really happy for myself as an artist that this kind of exhibition is happening in Calabar and uh, I'm happy also uh, because of the theme of the exhibition. This touring exhibition is expected to move to Lagos, then Abuja. Loving the Calabar crowd there and I get a lot of comments from viewers talking about why we do not show art events taking place in other cities besides Lagos. And I smile because we show that and even more. Next week on Art House. <music> 11-year-old Kanye Chuku Okeke rises beyond barriers to show that he is fabulous, autistic and talented at his solo exhibition in Abuja. Transcendence is an exhibition by two emerging artists at Thought Pyramid Gallery, Lagos. Enjoy that and more the next time you tune in. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. So there's a lot to look forward to next week, especially Kanye's art. It's amazing coming from an 11-year-old. And remember to check out our YouTube page. We encourage you to view, like, and share that link. Let more people enjoy the beauty of the arts. I'm Melinda Kinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative. <laughs>